Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and today we are talking about core, more specifically making money in core, but generally we're going to start off with a bit of a conversation about making money from game created content. And we're not talking about creating your own games, no, we're talking about games that allow users to create and sell content. And there are a couple games out there where a lot of people have made a lot of money. Now, the first example I can think of is Second Life. Now, I've never played Second Life, but the way I've understood it is basically it sims online with user generated content. And apparently, most of the content turns into like phallic objects and furries from the way I've heard it described. But this is basically a giant user created sandbox where you can actually sell product and make money. This was the pioneer in this regard and it's still going somewhat strong to this very day. And then there is of course the current star of the show, Roblox. Now Roblox was early on back in 2015-2016 called the Second Life for kids, and that is not inaccurate. It's, it's much more um, kid-focused in its graphical style and so on, but it has a really strong user-based community. Here you can see I'm at the developer portal, and you're seeing details on monetization, on premium payouts. You can use, uh, you can create products in this and make quite a bit of money. In fact, Roblox just recently had an IPO. I did a video when they first announced it, but as part of an IPO, you gotta file a lot of details about it, and quite frankly, in 2020, they spent in three quarters, so only in 75% of the year, they made $700 million from selling in-game content. Now, most of that being user created. And the users are going to get a small share of that money. So you can actually make a fair bit of money working in Roblox. Now, the way this thing almost always works is early adopters make the most money, just the nature of the beast. You kind of get, uh, you know, highest trending, best known, and so on. Being an early adopter is normally a good idea, but people are definitely making millions upon millions of dollars in Roblox. And then there's not always an ideal story. Because you remember a while back, uh, I think it was around 2015, Steam said, hey, Let's have our workshop. Workshop is basically their online mod, mod repository, and we'll give people the ability to make money. And they started this with Skyrim, and this didn't go so well. This went horribly, in fact, and then they pulled it. So I actually don't even know if you can monetize Steam Workshop anymore, uh, but I can tell you one thing is the monetization of Skyrim mods, that did not go over well. So making money off of making content for other people's games hasn't always gone smashingly, but there are some huge success stories out there. And the ones that are really successful were basically the games that were built around this idea, which is where we get back to Core. Now, I've talked about Core a couple of times in the past on this channel. Uh, it is kind of a combination product. On the one end, it is a store front for making games. Uh, there's a shared world hub, but you can make just about any kind of game you want. These are all user created games. Uh, they're still kind of um, newish at this point in time. And then behind the scenes, you have Core, the engine. And this is Core. You can see here, it's a it's, uh, player environment. I downloaded someone else's example. You can actually uh, use and collaborate with community projects. This is powered by the Unreal Engine. Uh, you have all of the tools you need in here, including a number of different prefabs and assets to build your world from. You've got uh, all the various different graphical things like post-processing effects, sky effects, and so on. The underlying uh, engine behind Core is Unreal Engine. And in fact, Epic Games took a $15 million stake earlier this year in Core. So they're actually pretty well funded. There's a number of people behind this project. They've got, uh, you know, venture capitalists backing them up and they've got Epic Games backing them up. And then the technology, as I mentioned earlier on, this is being powered by Unreal Engine. But the entire idea here is that you can create and collaborate. Uh, people can come in and use your project. And the monetization has been a bit of a work in progress. By the way, you can also code in this. Uh, you can use the Lua programming language to create your own um, game logic. Uh, you can share your creations with other people in the community. Other people can create uh, assets for you that you can import and bring into your own game. I don't believe there's any way to actually sell individual assets now. Hopefully that comes at some point in the future. But what you could do is monetize the playback of your game. And those monetization options with Core just changed a bit. So let's head on back over to the browser. And uh, we started off back in July 8th um, news article over here on Game From Scratch, basically where they talked about their uh, pilots of uh, their payouts pilot program. So this is the idea of uh, paying people that play your game. So if people come in and play your core powered game, you can make some money. So it says uh, if you had 500 unique users log into your game every day, uh, you could receive 
$1,500 at the end of the month. If you average 1,000 users, you receive 3,000. If you average 10,000 and so on. So basically they were saying, people come play your game on our portal. We will pay you for those plays. And that's pretty nice, but this was a limited time uh, way of monetizing things in core. And it, it didn't necessarily, it, it wasn't necessarily sustainable forever. This was basically turning venture capitalist money into eyeballs and you can't run with that forever. So what they've done since is actually updated the state of your economy. So if you wanted to look potentially at using Core, as you can see right here, and it, it's fun to work with, to be honest, I may do a hands-on creating a game, I, I won't say from scratch with Core, but creating your own full step-by-step -step game because it is full-blown game development and this is basically a complete game engine. The only thing you're going to be missing is the ability to author uh, art assets in something like Blender or Max or Maya. And instead you have to use the built-in art tools or the prefabs that are already available. That's the huge major limitation right now. And I think a lot of that is for a copyright type of issue so you don't end up with a bunch of Mario clones in here. Although I don't know what's gonna stop people from using the in-game assets as well. Uh, but that is one of the current limitations that we've got here. So uh, we've got this blog post over on Medium from the CEO and co-founder of uh, Manticore, the creators of Core. And the future of gaming is user-generated, an open multiverse of creativity, self-expression, and economic opportunity for all, a world where anyone can not just instantly play, but create and also make a living. Our mission with Core, Manticore's groundbreaking user-generated um, content platform for creating and playing to democratize, oh, that is so overused these days, damn you, Indie, uh, um, Unity, Unity started that whole democratizing game development thing, uh, but to democratize and open gaming to a whole new wave of creators from all horizons, that's why we're excited to launch Core or perks, Core's economic engine, and boldly announce we will share creators 50% of the revenue they make on Core. Now, that is actually a pretty substantial change from uh, the licensing model for, say, Roblox, which is probably the biggest player in the space. And I also think Roblox cloned their licensing model from Second Life, so it applies there as well. Uh, you know, gaming's hard, people fail, blah, blah, blah. Uh, contrast that with the mass explosion in creativity, self-expression, and economic opportunities that user-generated content platforms like Twitch, YouTube, and TikTok have generated. It's not that good. Uh, and social sharing. Top influencers learn, earn a lot of money for their work on these platforms. And there's no reason talented game makers shouldn't also be amply rewarded for their effort. Now, this does make sense. You know, you, you can anybody can go on YouTube, create videos, and if they develop enough of a following, you can monetize it and turn it into to a living. Uh, Core is now spearheading that same uh, revolution in games, upending the industry's access and economic status quo by providing all-in-one full-service platform that's free to all creators. Uh, by all-in-one and full service, we mean that Core provides everything a creator needs end-to-end -end in one single service to create, iterate on, collaborate, publish, market, monetize, scale, optimize, etc. For instance, it means that instead of a, of the dozen or so tools usually involved in game development pipeline, you have just one to build, model, animate, program, etc. your worlds, games, and scenes, which is actually kind of funny because if you watch my Unreal Engine 4.26 video like three or four days ago, I mentioned how Unreal itself was moving more and more and more and more of its content into Unreal Engine. Things like modeling, sculpting, texturing, animating, and so on. Um, well, this is going like one step down the tool chain. This is a game built on top of Unreal Engine that's providing all of those things as well. Um, we also take care of marketing, customer service, QA. Now with Perks, Core is an, up, an economic springboard that greatly broadens access to economic opportunities. So you can see, there's how it breaks down for Roblox creators. Roblox creators get 24.5%. In the case of Core, they get 50%. As you may be able to tell if you're any good at math, that is 25.5% more of the pie. <laughs> so um, Core is in the first user, uh, blah, 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 blah. It's the first full service one with high-end graphics and multiplayer gameplay. I think that's fair. You would argue that Core games look quite a bit better than Roblox, for example. Uh, Roblox has built an extremely impressive uh, ecosystem for kids with millions of players, 7 million people making and selling content, but it only pays creators at most 24.5% of the revenue they generate, uh, which includes a 30% marketplace fee up front. Uh, other gaming, uh, UGC and modding platforms pay even less or nothing at all. Uh, with, and were, with, were, were designed without considering creator monetization. And I actually think creator monetization is a big deal. If you actually create a game with an ecosystem in which other people could come in and create great assets and those that create the best assets make money, 
you will bring people on board. Now, a lot of people say, okay, why don't people, uh, why isn't there a YouTube alternative? Because a lot of people sit back and go, okay, YouTube is kind of awful at times. And I, I can't argue with that. There's a lot of dumb things YouTube do over the years. So why do they keep being king? Why are there no other options out there other than like, uh, there's library, which by the way, I'm on. Uh, there's uh, BitChute. There's a few other ones out there along those lines. And then there's, um, uh, say, Vimeo. And, and the reality is the reason why uh, YouTube continues to be king is number one, YouTube is currently king. And when you are entrenched, you have a position of power for sure. Also, number two, did you know YouTube is the second biggest uh, search engine in the world? So discoverability is a huge part of it. And then number three, uh, creators make money. And it's hard to go to another platform in which we don't make money when we have one where we uh, do make money. And nobody else has managed to replicate that. The uh, closest we've got is kind of like uh, Spotify, which is weird, but, uh, and I guess Twitch and then Twitch is going through their own growing pains and doing the kind of stuff that make people look at YouTube and go, you guys suck. Hey, Twitch's turn. Uh, so the idea of creating an ecosystem in which people that create content can make money off their content, that is a good thing in my opinion. Uh, so da, 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 perks of the future of the creator economy, a new benchmark will shape the industry up as well. So here's all the various different things they cover versus the other platforms and what they actually cover. Uh, monetizing your game is easily simply put perks are in-game purchases built specifically for core they allow creators to sell in-game benefits and earn credits from players uh, players buy perks with core credits which creators can then easily convert to real currency um, in just a few simple steps you can make your game free to play or premium require a membership offer expansion packs or whatever you want no matter how you choose to engage and entice your players we make it simple and if after going in one economic direction you decide to pivot to another you can change it up real quickly perks always give you full control over the economics of your game Further, to help creators get the most out of perks, we're launching with many examples of successful games that showcase uh, what works on core, as well as examples of how to do things like utilize our drag and drop subscription framework. And we're investing heavily in training tools so that anyone who wants to build on core can quick, uh, can swiftly learn how to succeed. Uh, this is nothing less than the fundamental democratizing uh, there's it again, uh, of game creation, the most leading edge economic system the game industry has seen. It's a complete reimagining of what great creator economies can be, especially when married with a game creation system like Core. Now, instead of having to invest tremendous time and energy to build your games, you will be able to quickly and easily while also experimenting with economic systems that work best for you and your players. In summary, Perks is a complete monetization platform that creates real economic opportunity for creators. Uh, for the past few months, it has been an open alpha. We just as we'd hope, first timers and established developers alike built thousands of games on the platform. In that short time, hundreds of thousands have played core games, and our top titles have gotten hundreds of thousands of plays each. And then a plethora of games were created. They've done some stuff in the past, some stuff about the people that have done. And creators have already been making money on core with a creator payout program and a plethora of game contests. But until now, the process has been manual and a bit indirect. Purchase the manifestation of the frictionless uh, economic vision we've always had for core. Uh, and yeah. Kind of keeps going, 50-50 uh, revenue split summarized again. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of the whole idea here. Uh, next few months, we plan to take core into early access. Having our creator economy in place is key to our full launch. The next several months are going to be filled with programs and events to drive more players and developers to the platform. Uh, now is the best time for creators to join core and be among the pioneers who uh, establish a beachhead in our new economy, providing the tools, the platform, and now a transparent system for earning a living. Now we're inviting creators to bring their creativity and talent to core. What? are you waiting for? So that is it. That is uh, the future of monetization with Core. This, once again, is Core. I've done a couple of videos on it. So if you want to kind of jump in and take a look at it, I, I'm not going to go into a lot of depth about what Core is all about. But you can get an idea of what the tooling is. Once again, you can use the Lua programming language on the back end to add just about any capability you want. There's built-in modeling tools, but you can't bring in your own assets. One of the big question marks is where can you publish to? And I'm until now, it's basically been Core's online service, and I don't really see that changing. There was some talk about potentially being able to author Steam games or um, games for other platforms, but I'm not sure that with the way they're monetizing things, that's going to happen now. I think they're going to basically try and turn Core into the platform you go to in which you then go and play games. So in some ways, uh, it will become a game portal, something along the lines of, I don't know, Congregate, but with more of a shared community and a shared uh, currency between uh, the different games. And then you can make your money there. So the big thing is going to be is if they can turn 
this here, this web portal in which people come and play games, will they actually have people come and spend the money? Will people buy these packs? And then will they then in turns, because people are going to have to buy core credits in order for those core credits to be spent on people's games. And uh, that's, that's going to be an interesting development. Um, but we shall see. You also have shared avatars between worlds, which also can be a little bit weird or jarring because if you're making a high fantasy game then you got some guy on a, a gold cyber horse with space marine armor on, it might be a little weird. But uh, yeah, that, that is kind of the, uh, the idea here. Again, it's going to come down to can they get people to pay for the core experience. I didn't mean that pun, but hey, that's how it came out. And uh, will enough developers be making money that they'll feed the ecosystem that will then cause the community to come in, that will then cause people to come in and pay money, that will then cause people to make more money, which will cause more developers to come in to make better content. And it'll be interesting to see how it turns out. But they are well-funded. Uh, they do have the backing of Epic Games amongst others. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see where Core goes with this. So what do you think of this whole idea of user-generated content in the world of gaming? And what do you think of the idea of a platform built from day one with monetization in mind? And I think that's actually kind of the key thing that, that stands out with Core. I, I think building a system around creating a game engine where people can make money off their creations, that makes sense. It makes sense to me, and hopefully it works out. Also, let me know if you're interested in seeing like a bit of a core step-by-step -step tutorial type approach or making a simple game in core or something to that effect. Uh, if you got an interest, let me know. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.